Angelina, if you you've got a director and they ring you, or they you know the accountant rings you and they're sitting with the director and they've got a DPN, uh, what's the first thing that, that you say to them that they should do? Well, uh, if they obviously it depends on what na what the nature of the DPN is. So if the the DPN is one that gives you 21 days to, to do something. Those options definitely need to be explored. Um, if I can just sandwich what Louisa has said, before a DPN is even issued, um, it's essential that the records of the company are kept up to date because what I've seen happen a lot is that DPNs are validly served on directors at addresses that they no longer reside at. And so keeping your ASIC records up to date when it comes to directors' home addresses is so vital in terms of the DPN process because what tends to happen um, or what I've seen happen quite a lot over the last 15 years is that people get these direct to penalty notices in the mail at a former address and they don't find out about them until that 21 day period has expired. And that is a disaster. So before that DPN is issued, it's essential to make sure that all of your records are kept up to date with the ATO and with ASIC. The second thing that I want to note before a DPN is even issued, as soon as a company is in difficulty in terms of meeting its tax liabilities, you need to do you, you need to be engaging with the ATO. And the third thing prior to a DPN being issued um, is to really be alive to making sure that tax lodgements are made on time, even if they can't be paid on time, that they're made on time, just to maximise the options that you have once a DPN has been issued so that that personal liability um, may be able to be removed by winding up the company, placing it into a small business restructuring or voluntary administration like Louisa has gone through. Um, that's particularly important in an economic situation where people cannot generally afford to pay a lump sum amount personally, um, where a, a company is not able to pay the ATO debt that it owes. 